Ah yes, the AD-87. The gun that's almost as old as me. It's an instant classic. I'm pretty sure as soon as I mentioned it, some of you that when watching this video is gonna have their PTSD attack. And I'll be honest with you, this scene from Terminator 2 is fucking dope. Now for a secondary shotgun with the range of a ballistic missile, this really terrorized the entire player base of Modern Warfare 2. After Modern Warfare 2 launch, Infinity Ward and Activision got into a lawsuit, which means rolling out patches for the game is almost an impossible task. So most of the danger clues UMP45 shit didn't really get fixed, but one thing they fixed was the Model AD87. And trust me, the game feels so much better without me having to get sniped from 20 meters away by a Model AD87. There's nothing wrong with this single model of course, but god damn, the cycling time is horrendous. The AD-87 from Modern Warfare 3 turned from one of the most fun shotgun to use into one of the worst weapon in the game. Because it's just so inconsistent. One second, you can blow off someone from 20 meters away, and another second you get a point blank hit marker because the game decided to give you one. But with just like Modern Warfare 2 counterpart, this shotgun range is insane. But not to a certain extent of course, it's the highest damage shotgun at range, but it's still inconsistent as There's not really much stats in Call of Duty Online 1, but from what I'm seeing it's an extremely consistent shotgun since it deals 50 damage per pellet. It's around the level of the Remington 870 from Black Ops 2. This gun is honestly one of the most satisfying gun you can ever use in Call of Duty Mobile. Getting a one shot kill and seeing that beautiful beautiful psycho animation is just everything. And with attachment, you will turn this thing into a sniper. It is insane. Damage is on the high end of the 887 bloodlines. And the gunshot, you could literally turn it into a drum set. It would be good for music remixes, really. Literally. Now aside all of that, the iron sight is pretty good for an ADS reliant shotgun and if you master it correctly, I'm pretty sure you can get to legendary with it. It is a very potent shotgun. The shotgun hits like a train, both long and close range, so if you're looking for a shotgun that does both, you're definitely on the right track. 